Hi guys, I'm back again today with another video, this time um, of my new planner and my setup for August. Um, I've just moved out of my um, Filofax Pocket Finsbury into this gorgeous Van der Speck Custom Junior size, which is the equivalent obviously of a Filofax Pocket or the LV um, Louis Vuitton PM Agenda. So I decided to go with the Custom, um, it was a birthday gift to myself. I sold a few of my planners to afford this. Um, very hard to capture the colour of this planner. Um, it is the Totora Croco, which to me probably the best description of the colour is it's like a coffee colour, mushroom colour. On my Instagram it actually throws different colours in different light. Um, my Instagram handle is shazplans, S-H-A-Z-P-L-A-N-Z, -A -A if you're not already following me. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a chameleon, I guess, colour-wise, but really, really beautiful. It's a matte um, leather. So I chose the custom because I wanted to be able to choose the leather, the stitching and the rings. The junior comes with a standard layout, which is what I went for. I didn't add any of the extras. I didn't add a back pocket. I didn't add any stiffener. I didn't add a leather flyleaf or extra pockets or ring protectors. Um, I just kept it as it was. Um, I, you know, obviously if you add those things, it's extra cost. And with the exchange rate and shipping, it was already way more than I wanted to spend. But it is an absolutely beautiful planner. I do have light coming from the window in front and overhead light. Um, unfortunately, it's not the brightest of days today. So hopefully we can capture the colour. Okay, so I've gone with the Totora Croco on the outside. And then on the inside, I've gone with the Rose Ostrich which is really, really beautiful. I just love the different textures. You've got the smooth matte here and this lovely, very, very pale pink color on the inside. So the standard layout has four card slots here. I just keep my monthly journal card here and a little Ollie clip at the front. It comes with two um, vertical pockets in the front. I just have some note paper here and the back comes with another vertical pocket. I just keep some stickers for on the go planning and some um, sticky notes and my ruler which I need to actually fix because it's broken. Um, it also comes with um, an elasticized pen loop as standard. So that's the standard layout of the junior size. Um, my other Filofax pockets all have the back pocket which really I don't utilize to their maximum so there was no point getting a um, back pocket on this and I think it was quite pricey to have that as well. So um, this is my everyday carry. I also chose the 20 millimeter Krauss rings. Um, the only thing is that the rings um, I find are quite wide compared to the um, Finsbury, which I'll just grab it. If you have a look, they're a lot thinner. So I've basically taken everything out of my Finsbury into here, but it is a little bit harder to turn the pages, especially the first section of the planner and the back section, but um, I'm sort of working okay with that. So um, I haven't really changed too much. I have changed some of my sections and my dividers. Pretty much everything you see here I've printed myself um, using images from Pinterest, um, free printable inserts, paid printable inserts. These lovely clear um, dividers are from M Designs by M and I have actually laminated them. I put the labels on um, first and then laminated them and they're lovely because you can actually see through to your um, dashboard. Now these, um, what do you call them, word, the stickers, they are part of um, this was the um, packet that they came in. Um, yeah, I think it's just called stickers. Four by six sheets, two of each design stickers. So, yep, they're just really nice. They're clear. Um, so the first section, jot it down, is my notes and lists. Um, a lot of things I've printed out online. Um, so yeah, all my bits and pieces are written down here. Um, everything of importance 
was in here. Um, then I have a section just for some um, work contacts. Then we come to the calendar section, which is my monthly. That It actually didn't come with a monthly sticker in the pack. So um, I've gone with the calendar one. So this is a free printable from Printable Kate. Um, so you've got the year over two pages. This is still a vision board, <clears throat> excuse me, that um, I had in my other planners. So I've typed up my monthly tasks here in this section as well. I've also printed this out. This is from Emmy Plans. She popped this up on Instagram. I can't think of the guy's name that did this flow chart, but it's like an inbox planning flow chart. So I've added some stickers and um, laminated it as well. Just, just a way to sort of plan yourself out and keep yourself organized. So this was a free printable from the planner spot. I'm still in these monthly inserts. I can't see myself changing out of these anytime soon. So this is basically um, the top section is all financial planning. This is all my goal tracking. Um, sorry, my other things that I'm tracking. And then this is my goals for the month. Um, rather than have separate inserts, I like to keep it all together. I think otherwise my planner would be way too fat. So in this section, the schedule section, that is my weekly. So anything pertaining to my weeks. So I also typed up this um, weekly task list and laminated it. Um, one of my girlfriends made this overlay for me. This beautiful image was from Pinterest and I put the, um, it's a bit hard to see in this light, I put that um, holographic sticker paper over that. That was a free printable. This is from Bunny Plans, one of my favourite um, vellum still. Now this section is called menus. So this is my weekly um, menu plan. So I go shopping on a Monday and so I have all these little stickies and I just work out according to use by dates and things I've bought what my weekly plan for food is so I don't have to think about it. Um, so this is just another little dashboard um, that I use to hold my uh, mold liner pen. So now we're into the weeklies. Now these are the Peanuts Planico Horizontal Grid. Um, I've been using these for a while and I really love them. But I also decided to try these from Life Potion Printables. Um, I really like them as well. They're lined. I have trouble writing on anything that's not lined. Um, so I've popped them in for a couple of months and... I've also got things booked for October, so I've just put the um, Peanuts Planico back in there. But I am going to be trying some more minimalistic layouts um, probably next week. I'll print some out. Um, this little section here holds my um, passwords. So if you just open the front of this up, in behind here are some inserts with all my passwords obviously encrypted and my tracking but looking at it from the front it just looks like a lovely decorative piece of glitter card stock so the next section has the dollar signs down here so this is my bill tracking section these inserts are from life potion printables the next section is called like a boss so i just keep um, information about my business obviously i have all my information in a um, work related planner but this is what comes with me every day in my handbag so I can just refer to um, anything I need in here these were free printable um, monthlies from Poi and Hun the next section is called I deserve it so this is my online purchase section um, I've just kind of collaborated a few pages that were finished into what I'm still waiting on so anything mm. that is pink is um, planner related so I've just got a couple of sheets of those and then I have my coupon codes here um what else have we got next section I know I have quite a few um it does hold my life so this is the um section I've called journal so basically I do journal in my Stalogy I've been a bit slack lately but I tend to write in it on the days that I can a um, bit of memory keeping, a bit of inspirational thoughts, um, 
yeah, it's sort of a bit of a brain dump for me. Um, but I've been a bit slack with that, as I said. So um, I've been using these free printable checklists from Peanuts Planner Co. And I've just dated it down there. And at the end of every day before I put my um, planner to bed, I write down one thing, just one little sentence, something that's made me smile for the day, something I'm grateful for. Even if I've had a totally crappy day, this is the last thing I do before I close my eyes. So it puts me in a better frame of mind when I go to bed. Um, the get it done section is basically my projects, um, which this is still ongoing. And this was in my previous couple of videos is my capsule wardrobe. Um, I'm still having a big clean out. Then I have a clear fly leaf that came with one of my filofaxes, just with some um, sticky notes on it. And then I've just used these um, frosted pouches just to hold some photos for the moment. And yeah, in the back, as I said, that's all I carry with me. And I'm still using my um, Uniball Micro Eye. Um, I have a few of these and I love them. I use them in all my planners. So that's my setup in my... Totora Croco is an absolutely beautiful planner. Um, I love that it's custom made. I love that I could choose my leathers, the stitching, the rings. Um, it's really, really an exquisite piece. Um, and I'm also glad I didn't get the stiffener, even though it is quite um, sturdy and quite structured without it. Um, I just like the way it hugs my inserts so beautifully. So anyway, guys, that is it. There are lots of photos of this planner on my Instagram. As I said, Shaz Plans, check it out. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you already subscribed to my channel, thanks for coming back. And if you don't and you enjoyed what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you guys.